in the year 1972, we had two, three projects running in the school in our section of Amur Asada. We were mainly four teachers, Krishnabai, Chorunda, Devi Prasad and myself, Srikanth. So for the 15th August centenary day, Devi Prasad had prepared a bust of Shrobindo and bar relief in handmade paper. And uh, we had sent it with Pranabha a few days before. I am hoping that Mother would write through in those blessings. But she refused category to Pranabha. I said, I don't put through in those signature. She put apostrophe as uh, blessings and then her signature. So now another five, five days were remaining for the centenary day. So we said we'll make another attempt and we took up the subject of two shlokas from Upanishad, from Kasa Upanishad, which runs as Atmanam Rasinam Vidhi Shariram Rathamevatu Muddhim Tu Sarathim Vidhi Manaha Pragrame Vacha Know the body for a chariot and the soul for the master of the chariot. No reason for the chariot here and the mind for the reins only. Indriyani haya nahur vishayam steshu gocharan atmendriya mano yuktam bhokte tyahur Manishara. The senses they speak of as the steeds and the objects of sense as the paths in which they move. And one yoke with self and the mind and the senses is the enjoyer, say the thinkers. Now this was the subject which was chosen to depict and Devi Prasad we stuck on handmade paper eight sheets so it became four feet by eight feet. A whole our class was involved in that activity. Devi Prasad was guiding Marilis where to put the chariot he would sort of make a rough sketch and people were put, putting in the paint. So day and night we were working and finally the result came out of the chariot and just on the 14th afternoon it was completed and then we rolled it and as Pranabha was going up at quarter to six, we rolled it, he was a little late, we couldn't even tell him that it is eight feet long. So when he said, yes, yes, I will see, and when he opened it in front of mother, I mean, whole the table was covered completely by eight feet. She immediately asked Pranabha where I should sign. So Pranabha was pretty confused where, where he would, but somewhere in the center, as you would see, he pointed out, mother, you signed here. And she beautifully wrote in her pen, Sri Aurobindo's blessings, and she put her own signature below. Now this was a very, very rare thing to have because as she, as she said, earlier she had refused. I said, I don't put Shrivindo signature. But for the centenary day, that is by just on the 15th of August, 1972, Center of Education received Shrivindo's blessings. And now, we will point out on the painting as it goes that what the things were.